I think sekarang ni ramai yang very hype lah about kereta elektrik especially company macam Tesla yang sekarang dia punya stock tu very skyrocket lah so in terms of engineering bezanya kereta elektrik dan kereta petrol ni so bezanya satu guna internal combustion engine satu lagi akan guna DC motor banyak orang cakap pasal kereta petrol ni tak bagus lah sebab dia ada very bad uh, CO2 emission greenhouse gases emission from the exhaust tenaga elektrik adakah betul-betul bagus yang menyebabkan kita boleh buang terus kereta petrol kita so there's a few factors lah so in terms of body nak buat body tu most probably is about the same dengan kereta petrol tapi kita akan cakap tentang dua faktor besar yang berbeza so satu ialah kereta petrol guna internal combustion engine dan kereta elektrik pula menggunakan uh, DC motor so DC motor ni material mungkin a bit different than internal combustion engine but it's not really affecting the environment But right now, kita akan bercakap tentang bateri tu. Sebab kereta elektrik, of course, dia ada bateri yang contoh macam Tesla, ada bateri kat bawah tu. Ada few advantage lah. Kita panggil handling is better sebab dia punya weight tu ke bawah. So, center of mass tu akan lagi ke bawah. Tapi, bateri ni in terms of sustainability, bateri ni pun sekarang ni mostly guna lithium ion. Tapi, what the first one bateri to others is the formula lah. This bateri pun akan ambil daripada sumber yang mana kita kena gali. So, sumber galian pun kalau kita tengok, gunakan heavy machinery yang gunakan juga petrol, diesel, everything. So, in terms of of 100% is it good of course along the way to create the electric car dia tak akan bersih lah sebab manufacturing line pun guna elektrik juga di mana elektrik tu mungkin dijana daripada coal susah lah kita nak avoid everything maybe in the future kita akan ada RE100 company maybe Tesla juga akan jadi RE100 company in which 100% production line 100% tempat showroom semua everything is renewable energy usage ok kalau nak bercakap tentang boleh tak kita guna bateri-bateri dalam telefon kita contohlah kita kumpul semua iPhone kat Malaysia kita buat kereta kira dia cycle lah bateri ni kalau orang guna iPhone lah mesti ada nampak bateri hell so bateri ni pun over the time dia akan wear and tear in which dia punya capacity is not as good as it was before lah so kalau kita gunakan bateri-bateri yang lama-lama-lama pun theoretically boleh buat kereta elektrik tapi it's not as efficient yang mana kita ada specialized product yang ada specialized voltage yang ada specialized current tailored made to the DC motor sendiri tailored made to the whole system so So, the answer is that kita boleh guna kalau nak cuba pun boleh cuba connect je lah semua sendiri and then korang try lah macam mana boleh jalan ke tak kereta tu satu lagi point is that kita kira sebagai uh, return of investment in terms of carbon so kalau kita guna petrol car of course lah kita akan continuously guna carbon akan ada carbon emission sebab kita guna petrol kita guna diesel untuk kereta elektrik ni it's just in initial stage saja. so kalau kita katakanlah kita nak guna kereta tu 10 years nak bandingkan 10 years dengan kereta lagi petrol 10 years so of course maybe just in a few years dia punya carbon neutral sifat of Tesla ni dah subsidize everything yang in terms of manufacturing battery to certain parts long term memang lagi better there's no doubt about that but short term of course there's some improvement yang still kita boleh buat in terms of engineering